the Republican chair of the House Intel Committee, Mike Turner of Ohio. Chairman Turner, welcome back to Meet the Press. Good morning, Chuck. Um, all right, let me start with what you know here. So the decision to take this down, what more have you learned? Um, I, I know you're part of the so-called Gang of Eight. I don't think you guys have gotten a personal briefing, but I know staff has. What more can you tell us about the takedown operation? Yeah, well, you know, clearly the president taking it down over at the Atlantic is sort of like the quarterback, sort of like tackling the quarterback after the game is over. Um, the the satellite had completed its mission. This should never have been allowed uh, to enter the United States, and it never should have been allowed to complete its mission. If you ask somebody to draw an X at every place where our sensitive missile defense sites, our nuclear weapons infrastructure, our nuclear weapons sites are, you would put them all along this path. Uh, clearly, this was an attempt by China to gather information to defeat our command and control of our sensitive missile defense and nuclear weapon sites. And that certainly is an urgency that this administration does not recognize. Do you think we should have a policy that just anything that enters our airspace that's a balloon from China gets shot down immediately? Well, first off, you have to understand this administration didn't just fail here. They failed to prepare after the first time this happened during this administration. The administration's already admitted, which I've been briefed on, that, th- that China has done this before in the continental United States during this president's when tenure. When did that happen? Um, I, you have to let them uh, release it. I can't release classified okay. information, but, but they can tell you. We also briefed on that there was apparently two or three incidents in the previous administration as well. R- well, that's what they're saying now. But I think that, that the administration needs to come forward because this is not an ability to, to um, say that this is a, a crisis that was handed to them. This is a crisis that has developed as a result of this president during his administration allowing China to do a similar mm-hmm. act before, not responding, and then clearly in this one, not seeing the urgency of what was an unfolding. I mean, the president allowed this to go across our most sensitive sites and wasn't even going to tell the American public. If you hadn't broken this story, mm-hmm. uh, the American public would not have even known. There was no attempt to notify Congress, no attempt to put uh, together the Gang of Eight. Uh, I think this administration lacks urgency. Do you, the Pentagon says that they were able to use some countermeasures that, that, blocked or limited the ability of China to extract uh, information from this balloon. Do you buy that? No. And I, I mean, certainly you don't either. The, here, here's the thing that's, that's interesting. The administration says there was nothing for them to gain here. This was quite a risk by China, quite a calculation that they would take a balloon, put it up from, in China, take it across the United States where it's clearly going to be discoverable by us. They clearly had some information that they were trying to garner that they can't garner from space, or they what did not have be? otherwise. Have you, have you? I mean, what? You're, you're pretty familiar with this. What is it that they think they could have gotten from a balloon, or what can be done with a balloon that can't be done with a satellite? Well, the key obviously is not just the balloon. The key is is the payload that was attached to it, which you've reported is you know the size of three bus uh, buses. Um, that's that's obviously huge, and it was being commanded and controlled by mainland China and delivering in data and information back to mainland China. Again, if you look at the path and you put X's where all of our sense of missile defense and nuclear weapons facilities are, I believe that they were trying to gain uh, information on how to defeat the command and control of our nuclear weapon systems and our missile defense systems. That's a crisis. That certainly should have had an urgency to the president and not just wait until this gets to the Atlantic to take it down. Um, Do you at all accept, and it sounds like he did put the order in on Wednesday to shoot it down, and that it's the military that said, hey, it's not safe yet. Do you it, accept that? Yeah, uh, no, there's no excuses here. Uh, when this first occurred last time during this administration, remember, this is the third year of this administration. They should have been preparing for this. They knew what this was. They know what the balloon is, what its capabilities, maneuverability is from having observed previous actions by China. Uh, they should have been prepared. They seem not only to be unprepared, but to even be waiting. Where is the balloon going to go? What are they trying to do? That, that's not how you look at, at the actions of an adversary. <clears throat> China is a self-declared adversary. Um, they are clearly expanding their military capabilities. They're tripling their nuclear weapons capabilities. They're uh, fielding hypersonic weapons. Right. They're expanding in space. In this instance, this president should have taken this as an urgency, and so should have our military. This should have been taken down before it entered the U.S. airspace when it was over Alaska. This, um, there's some, some sort of surveillance technology with this balloon. There's been some speculation that it it might have the capability of launching its own drones, sort of miniature drones to do extra surveillance. Do you know anything about that, or has there been any reports to confirm any of that? No, I, and I've, I've not been briefed on that, but I can tell you, and, and we're supposed to be briefed this week as to what we know. But I okay. think what we can believe is that this administration says, we don't really know. 
And if we don't really know how they keep telling the American public this is not a threat, that there was no need to act, it's just extraordinary to me. This administration does not understand the urgency of taking action to protect our national What do you believe the security? actual threat is right now? What is it that they're trying to do? I mean, you see this as just a simple military exercise by the Chinese. Absolutely. I mean, the, 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 they, they didn't go and look at the Grand Canyon. They went and looked at our nuclear weapon sites and the missile de- defense sites. Mm-hmm throughout the country. And whatever was in this humongous payload, I mean, there wasn't a camera on this thing. There were, I mean, I'm certain there were cameras, but at the same time, this was huge. Uh, the, the expanse that was there and what they were trying to accomplish, obviously, was important enough to China to take the risk of something that was, was over it. This was, this was not covert. This wasn't secret. They did it in such a grand scale. They knew that the United States would know, and they did it anyway. So was it the right call for Secretary Blinken to postpone his trip? Sure, but you've noticed, he, and I have a great deal of regard for Secretary Blinken, but you notice he didn't cancel it until it was already public and there was public scrutiny of the fact that he was going. Well, there's some that argue that it shouldn't have been canceled, that it, this should be immediately they, we should be confronting them. What do you well, make of that? What should have idea? happened is the first time this happened during this administration, <clears throat> there should have been outrage. They mm-hmm. should have addressed this with China. They should have prepared for when this balloon was coming. They should have understood that this, there was a great deal of risk at our national security, and they should have been prepared the moment this uh, balloon was launched because they knew what this was, was like, they knew what it was right. capable of, and they should have responded. So what now should be the American response here? What would you like to see going forward in, our, uh, in, in response to this incursion? Well, I, first off, the, the president needs to, to shift and understand that he has urgent national security matters. Uh, you, you can't just act like nothing matters if it matters to our adversaries. If, if our adversaries think this is important, we need, we need to thwart it mm-hmm. and we need to respond. With respect to this balloon, obviously, you know, the administration's indicated they're going to try to collect uh, whatever's left of having uh, mm-hmm. this strewn across the, the ocean to see what we can learn there. We're going to find what signals intelligence that the administration might have been able to capture and from that understand what this was doing. But they need to make clear to all our adversaries, you're not going to get to come to the United States and take a tour of our most sensitive military sites uh, and and have a free shot. How aggressive should we be about these balloons that are in the Western Hemisphere, not over our airspace, but we know there's reports that there's one of these balloons in Latin America right now? Right. Well, I think all of these, if the administration had, when they became aware that China was deploying this capability, Mm -hmm. if they had been aggressive to determine how to capture them, how to exploit the technology, uh, how to thwart the technology, we would be in a different place today. And I think um, the same is true for the other balloons that you're seeing. All right. We're running out of time, but before I let you go, you and others in the Gang of Eight have asked for a briefing on all of the classified documents that have been discovered from President Trump. President Biden and Vice President Pence. Where are we on that? You know, what's striking about this, Chuck, is that that the Biden administration told the American public that they raided Donald Trump's home because it was a national security risk. But what we found in in the intelligence uh, community and the intelligence committee is that um, the Biden administration had not engaged at all anyone who was in national security on the the issue of threats from these documents. Mm -hmm. It took Congress to step in and say, we want a security threat. And then they tried to deny giving the briefing to us from that threat. What's interesting is that the moment this balloon became public, I got a notice not from the administration that I'm going to get a briefing on this balloon, Mm -hmm. but they have to rush to Congress now to talk to us about Donald Trump's documents. You can see they want to change the news. So you're going to get a briefing on Trump's documents, but there is nothing scheduled on the balloon, but they're scheduling Donald Trump. Anything on Biden or Pence? Uh, it's included, yes. That'll all be yes. included. When is that? This week? Uh, it, it is, yes, it's supposed to be this week. We'll see whether or not the balloon happens first. It certainly should. Again, urgency. This administration needs to understand right. we do have national security urgent matters. Uh, Mike Turner, chair of the House Intel Committee, Republican from Ohio. Thanks for coming in and sharing you. your perspective with us. Appreciate Thank it. You.